1928, the Bishop of Los Angeles asked the Paulus Fathers to come to Los Angeles to work with the moving picture people. At the time, there was Hollywood was just coming up and growing with the not only silent movies, but talking pictures since. And so we came to minister to them here. It's a very loving and connected community here. And there's just a lot of parishioners that, you know, multi-generational families now that have been part of this parish community that are all part of the Paulist family. We've known so many Paulists who've served here down through the years, and it's just a wonderful sense of connectivity. Well, I've been a part of this community for over 40 years. September of 1975 is when we moved down to Los Angeles. Just a lot of the families that have been here for as many years that have gone and parishioners and gone to school here uh, have stayed because it's such a great community. The official name of the church is the Church of St. Paul the Apostle, but we call it St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Community to emphasize our pastoral commitment to, to bringing and building one community of faith. After Mass, talking to people, having coffee and donuts with people, you know, just listening and being present with them are really the highlights of my week. My family's been very fortunate because we've been longtime parishioners and we have evolved meeting the new priests over the years. It's, it's a very diverse community. I mean, we have everything from, from college students, really, who are going to UCLA, who drop in here sometimes, uh, right on up to retirees, okay, that have lived in this parish their entire life. I think that it's really important for me to have a place where I can talk about my faith and I can question. I don't know, it allows me to kind of dissect scripture and just question in a way that, and in a space that feels safe. Our young adult ministry is, is based on formation of young adults to become disciples or, or, or uh, deeper disciples, I guess, uh, in, uh, in following their faith. We have a small team, ministry team of four men and four women who are meeting and studying and praying together and uh, are beginning to develop uh, uh, programs and activities for young adults uh, to help engage their faith as well. So we're, we're really trying to bring them together and, and form that community. The most important thing is I just love the, the message of the Paul of Spring and how open and welcoming they are to, to everyone in the, in the community. And I think it's very positive and it, it helps you and lifts you up when you need to be helped and lifted up. The Paulus Fathers are like family. That's the best way I can describe them. They are there for you when you need them. It is the importance of reminding everyone, because that's we all need to be reminded that we are loved by God. So I try to uh, show people that, I try to be there for people. I think the most important thing that I'm receiving from the community, it's God's message. And just being reminded of how powerful the story is and how helpful it is in your life. Being so attentive to one another and just reaching out to one another in good times and in bad and offering support and encouragement. It can be kind of a hard transition coming out of college. You graduate college when you're, what, 22? It's just like a time in life when you have a lot of change, a lot of growth. One of the challenges in Los Angeles is that every time you go out, you have to have a destination in mind because you have to get there by the freeway or, or, or through traffic. So, so that, that seems to pose a challenge to building community. But I think that's the opportunity as well. It's very much an intentional effort to be here because this is the place where they feel at home. This is the place where they know they can walk in the door of that church, they'll recognize people in the pews, and people will reach out to one another and just check in with them and like, how has your week been? Be a doer. Don't be somebody that receives. Be somebody that does something constantly. And I, that's the message that I have for my children. And I, I, want, I want to live that message. I don't want to just talk about it. When the school opened in 1932, the Paulus invited the daughters of Mary and Joseph, the sisters, to, to staff the school. And uh, they built and were responsible for building a, an amazing, amazing parish school here at St. Paul the Apostle. As a community, we've worked with the Paulus Fathers for over 80 years here at St. Paul the Apostle School. I like the children so much and believe in the education of children. I did the campaign with Father John Artis to build our new school and gymnasium. And our campaign motto was ensuring the bright future of our children here. You've probably noticed around our campus we have simple posters that just spell out the word love. 
so no one is left out. So when we talk about that gospel message of love, this it's, it's a huge message, but it can be lived in very simple ways. No school that I have ever been in have we had the ministry of so many priests. You usually have a pastor in a school. We have a pastor and two associates and the retired priests as well, the senior priests. We try to be very much present to the school and to the student body. Uh, I'm usually in the classrooms teaching religion about two days a week as well. I came here in 1975. My mom was a single parent and Sister Stella was the principal here at that time and she took me in and created the life that started for me and what I've been able to give to my children as well. When, when we had kids, when my wife and I had children, and we lived here in Los Angeles, I was said, you know, I want to send my children to St. Paul the Apostle because it set me up for success in my life. When I was teaching junior high, I would always tell my students, we don't just go to church, we are the church. Our priority is to build the community that with the parish and the school and so build not just a, a good student but to build good faithful kids that they grow up into them to faithful adults. Once a month our staff for the school and the parish come together and we have a private kind of a mass just for us just so we can pray together and then uh, we have a little morning uh, social hour just to kind of talk and chat. And Hospitality if you come to church here on Sunday they're all standing outside in front of church waiting to greet the people. I think it's really nice to have a community where we can come together in all of our different stages and wherever we are. So many things that we try to do allow us really to continue in the mission that Father Hecker started us on so long ago. As great as it's been, I'm hoping it will be even greater in the future, so it's exciting. I think that's what life is all about. This is our faith community, and we're blessed to have them here in Los Angeles.